If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be doing our favorite thing, as per usual, in Madden 21, guys, and that is the Master Sets, guys. Now, today's Master Set, it's a banger. We got some great players in there. We got a great master. We got good prices, guys. And honestly, this may be the best one yet in terms of how we can really manipulate everything and get a great return on our investment, guys. So if you're new to the channel, first off, make sure to stay through the end of this video because we have like five different methods here of how you can go about doing this depending on your situation, your coin stack, and how you're going to handle this. But make sure you're down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notify boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And if you do need coins to complete this set, guys, and it's a very worthwhile set, head on over to muttreserve.com down below in the description. Coins are on a discount right now. Take advantage. And if you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off. So make sure you guys go take advantage and pick up some of these coins. Because you want to get this master. He's super, he's probably the best cornerback in the game. And honestly, you don't want to be missing out on an opportunity like that. But guys, get into this. So first off, note the price: 450k. You guys know the math in these sets already, right? I'll get into this, but 450k and the set costs six six hundred k because you can get every player for just about 150k right now if you just sit there for like a few minutes and you snipe them i already got two for that i will get more throughout the video but 150k so the whole set costs 600k and byron jones sells for four, uh, 450 which is about 410 after reduction let's go to the set if you guys already know the deal you guys should already if you've been around the channel long enough we're gonna go over the best ways to complete this for the best value and the way the reason this set is so beneficial is because you get back the two free players and the training uh, i mean the power up and you get the master player so this is what we're going to be focusing on right here. Turn in all four open kickoff heroes for 90 overall Byron Jones and his power up item. You also get to select two of the heroes to get back in that version. Guys, it's a banger. I promise. Let's get into this. So here's the thing. Let's start with the initial math. 600k for the set. And now you got to subtract the 410 you're going to get back after reduction for Byron Jones. That leaves you 190k. So here's the breakdown. So here's why the set doesn't actually cost 600k. So that's the base value. Don't forget, you do get a free one from your solo. So if you go play your solos and you get your house, to you get your token and you go play house rules, get 10 ones, you get your token. That is one free hero. So take whichever one you want, whichever one's more expensive. So now you subtract that 150k. So now it costs 450k to do the set. And ironically, Byron Jones goes for 450k. So there you go. Now we're not factoring. We factored in reduction. So now you got to subtract that. So the set's going to cost you 450k for 410. So you're currently spending an extra 40,000 coins for two 88 overall players. For starters, guys, that's a snack. For starters. Now we're going to do some other method here real quick before we get into that. So guys, if you go to the training store and you go check it out, you're able to go ahead and actually get another master for uh, trophies. So make sure you guys check that option out. If you guys have trophies and you don't want to use John Madden Coach, you're able to get essentially two free players if you want to go ahead and take that route if you have trophies. And you can go ahead and pick up the ultimate kickoff hero fantasy pack for 750. So that will leave you with two free, which would make the set cost you 300k. And you could sell Byron and get back 410. So that's just one side method. In case you guys happen to already have the um, the trophies to do so, just letting that get that out there. So here you go. So pretty much, if you have that player, it will cost you about 300k to get the set done. Sell Byron, you get back 100k just about profit, and you get two free 88 players. It's a steal. It's a steal, guys. 100k, two free 88 players. Now let's let's go back. And assume you don't have that so here's how it's gonna work you have one free player the set's gonna cost you 450 let's get into method one guys here back on our normal track aside from the trophy thing because not everyone's gonna have that so with the current state of the game and what you're able to do you're able to get one for free so 450k for the set and then you sell byron jones so there's two methods there's three methods here first method is you sell byron jones so in the first method guys you pick the two best you want i will be posting a video today going over my rankings of the best ones to take so stay tuned for that so in method one you pick the two guys you want. Let's say Trent Williams and you want Yannick Ngakwe, right? Those are your two guys you want. Perfect. So you just got two guys worth 300k total and Byron Jones all for 450k. But now you sell Byron Jones for 450. That costs you 410. You get back after reduction. So for the small cost of 40,000 muck coins, which is a joke. That's literally nothing. You get Yannick Ngakwe and Trent Williams. Now you want to be technical here. Um, if you don't want to count the price, I get that. But those are 250k players. For the price of 40k so this, this is my one of my favorite methods always is method one for my team trying to be competitive it won't be the method i take because i need i need the byron jones but for method one you sell byron this is great for budget teams or no money spent teams where you're like you want to get a bang for your buck every time so every new series or every new promo you want to go ahead and do this because you're going to get two free of their best players while just selling the kickoff hero and then you can sell his power for another like 5k and there you go you end up spending about thirty-five thousand to forty thousand coins and you get two free players it's a steal I'm telling you guys, it's a great method. Now, method two is where you keep Byron Jones. 
Method 2 is the one I'm going to implore. Probably method 2 is the one where you don't make coins here, but you save a ton of coins. So here's the method I'm going to keep. So you keep Byron Jones, you keep and you keep both your players. So it costs you 450k and you get Master Byron Jones that goes 450k and you get two free players. You get Yannick Ngakwe and Trent Williams. So again, for my team, I just bolstered my team for the same price. Guys, here's my opinion on the game. If you're ever going to buy the Master or you ever want a hero, always do the set. Why? So you want Todd Gurley. I guess it cost you 150k. Okay, so why not do the set, sell Byron Jones, and now you get Todd Gurley and Yannick Ngakwe, and you only spent 40k. Vice versa, let's say you want the master. Why buy Byron Jones 450k when you can do the set 450k and get Byron Jones and get two free players? It's just a steal, guys. So method two, you keep everything. So you keep everything, and for the small extra cost of 40k, you got an additional 280 heroes. Then there's method three, which depending on the trophy value could be a little bit different. I'm not sure how it works in this one, but you are able to go ahead. And what you do with Byron Jones is you take him and you sell him and then you quick sell both the players and you take the trophy values of them and you try to convert it back and you maybe make a profit. Now that one's risky. That one is a gamble, of course, because you're going to have to go ahead and do the 81 to 85 quick sell set or the reroll set, I should say. And that one has a lot of risk associated with it. So I'm not a fan of Method 3 for this specific series or promo. Personally think guys, method one and two are the ones you want to be following here. And again, there also is that side method. If you use your trophies and you combine everything up, you get a really cheap Byron Jones. But I'm personally a fan of that one. Now, I'm going to complete the set for you guys. I did do it, of course. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how the set works real quick, just so you guys have an idea. Now, I will be employing, like I said, method two, because method two for me is what I want to do for my team. I want two of the free players and I want to go ahead and keep Byron Jones on my team fully powered up, which is going to require that I do method two, of course. Now again, met so remember method one is going to be the one where you get two nat players, great overall heroes for 40,000 coins. Method two is going to be where you keep everything and for the small extra cost of 40K, you end up with master, a power up and two heroes. And then their course is method three where you pretty much sell everything and you see how much you can make back on that. And again, these are repeatable guys. So if you want all four masters, do the set twice. You guys know what I'm saying? So of course it won't be as profitable a second time around cause you're gonna have to go ahead and you wanna have a free one this time. So your the profitability is going to be much hindered maybe you're not even worth on the second one so definitely do the math on that before you go ahead and do it now i do get to pick my two here guys like i get my byron jones my um and that so for me for my team specific guys i am doing a ranking make sure to check that ranking video out it was posted earlier i believe but for my specific team trent williams is a snack because i'm going to sell joe thomas and then for me i'm thinking yannick and gakwa here is my right end now the issue is that i do have uh miles garrett now miles garrett i'm not entirely sure what i'm gonna what i'm gonna go ahead and do here because Miles Garrett's the better edge rusher with all the abilities. Uh, this is tough. No, for the run stuffing aspect, I'm probably going to go, I guess, with Linval Joseph is what I'm going to have to do here for my specific team. He's not my favorite, but at least it's, it's depth, I guess, because Yannick Ngakwe, unless I put him at the middle. You know what? I'm going to take Yannick Ngakwe because that is one of my favorite ones. I'm going to go with him, and I will put them in the middle. I will, I'll probably sub him in at DT on a passing down so I can get a great finesse move up the middle, guys. So that is pretty much the, uh, the bulk of the set there, guys. So I got Byron Jones. 90 over now i could sell him but i do plan to probably keep him here because i just think it's i think it's the best value and then i'll go ahead and sell my joe thomas you can go ahead and sell other players those positions and make do so if you go to are selling your byron jones as quickly as you get him when you do actually go ahead and complete the set because of course the value will continuously go down as the day does go on as will the players and everything else so make sure you are taking advantage of that and getting your proper coin value for everything because of course as things go down you're going to lose coins so make sure when you do it it's always gonna be the same ratio guys just remember that even if my the prices aren't the same when you go ahead and do this method or these methods, I should say, it's gonna all be in a ratio. So, right now it's it's 450 for 450. Later on, it's gonna be 400, 400, and then it might be 350 for 350. It's gonna the ratio is gonna be the same. Profitability is not gonna change too much. The base of the set's not gonna really change. So just make sure you guys are checking the math when you go ahead and do it. I gave you guys all the numbers and pretty much how you run it. But again, guys, my favorite set. Did it for you guys on here. I love doing it. I'm gonna add Byron Jones to the team. Power him up. Go check them out. I, I think it's just a great way to go ahead and get, you know, get some easy coins, get some easy players, and improve your team while doing all the same. But guys, about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you go down below. Head on over to muttreserve.com. Use code Poodle. Take advantage of discounted coins. 15% off extra on top of that when you use my code, guys. Go do these sets. Go enjoy. Uh, this should be one of my third videos for the day. I do have another one planned for you guys today. There's so many videos to do. I'm probably going to have to push them until tomorrow. But guys, about it for the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully, you guys. Do watch Thursday Night Football tonight. You don't want to miss it. Chiefs vs. Houston. Going to be a great game. Super excited. Might have to even play some DFS today. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.